In this section, I am going to cover using step-based effects on the EOS and specifically how to create them. A step-based effect is one of the three types of effects that can be created on the EOS along with absolute and relative. So let's look at the step-based effect. To do this, I need to go into my effects display. I'm going to double hit my effect key. And this will bring up the list of effects that are currently loaded into the system. The effects beginning with 901 are automatically programmed into the console. They are some pre-programmed pre effects that come with the factory default. What we want to draw your attention to, in addition to the effect display, is now my CIA becomes the effect editor, and all of the touch buttons in the CIA are where I do a lot of my effect editing. So let's take a look at building a new step-based effect. I'm going to create a new effect number 5. So I type effect 5, enter. The first thing I have to do is select the type. And once I do this, if, if type isn't automatically highlighted in my CIA, I can go ahead and push the type key, and then I have touch buttons to decide which type of effect I want to do, and this is a step-based effect. And the editor will change to give me a table, and essentially what I'm doing is I'm building steps, and what a step is on the EOS is anything, any element that's in that particular step, whether it be a group or a, a listing of channels or a, a palette or a preset, that step will be active for a period of time, and that effect will just continue to loop from beginning to end with however many steps I put in. So let's take a look at doing something like this. I'm going to build a real simple chase that uh, involves three channels. So I want to first select my three steps, and I can do this by hitting my step soft key, one through three. And now I can use the arrows. I can move into my channels. Now I could simply pick a group here, or I could enter my channels manually, but I know that I have three channels that have leaves, and I'm going to use query to find them. Query, keywords, leaves, enter, and the console will find those three channels that are my leaves. And now I can go through and I can change the timing. The overall step time is how long each step stays active, and maybe in this case I want to speed it up a bit. I'm going to make it 0.5. The in time is if I want them to fade into each step, and I don't. I want them to bump into each step, so I'm going to make a time of zero. The dwell time is how long that step will stay active, and I think I want to do this in maybe a 0.5. And I don't want to decay. That is if I want the lights to fade out from their active state to their inactive state. I want them to bump out. My on state at this point is an intensity, and my uh, off state is also an intensity. So when the step is active, any channel that is in that step will go to 100. And when that step is inactive, they will go to 0. Now, I could actually put something else besides just an intensity. I can hit Add Enter to take the channels to the background value, whether that's playing on stage in a queue or a sub. Or I can even put in one of my palettes or presets. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and leave them at 100 and 0. The right-hand portion of my CIA is where I can do some additional modification of that effect. For instance, like looking at attributes of the effect, maybe I want to make this a random effect, random grouping. Now to go ahead and look at this effect, I want to go out to Live. I'm going to use Query to grab those channels again. My Leaves, Effect 5, Enter. And what we can do is now see that we have that effect running. Once an effect is running live on stage, I can also make some modifications here. Now, this isn't actually modifying the effect. This is just modifying the live state of that effect. So I go displays and effect status. Or from a clear uh, command line, I can simply type the effect 5. And my CIA will now display the effect status display. And once I have that effect selected, I can use the encoder to maybe change the rate of that effect if I want to. And that is how you would create and use step-based effects on the EOS.